I want to show you how to make stuffed acorn squash that's delicious and not difficult to eat. Now perhaps you've seen stuffed acorn squash on the internet before, and they're all oh so pretty, and they make great photos, and they're presentable, but they're not easy to eat, and they lack one important thing, which I like to call scoopability. So here's my tip. Rip open the acorn squash with your bare hands. This makes the seeds easily scoop out because they fear your strength. Alternatively though, you could use a knife, because that's also scary. But seriously, after you're done with the normal process of, you know, putting it in the oven and roasting it at 425 for about 30 to 35 minutes, and then of course you gotta let it cool for a few minutes just so you don't literally burn your fingers off, then the important part comes. Scoop and scrape down the sides and the bottom of the squash bowls in order to loosen up that squash. Doing this saves your guests time and effort and allows them to easily scoop out the perfect bite every time. I also recommend seasoning the squash with a little touch of butter, olive oil, and a pinch of salt. And now that you've accomplished the scoopability factor, it's time to move on to the fun part of stuffed squash. And that means stuffing it with any of your favorite ingredients that you're in the mood for. This is the part where you get to be creative and come up with any fun combinations that you like. For me, this time I'm adding some diced onion, some diced red bell pepper, and some diced fennel. Then I season it with a little salt and pepper and add about four cloves of crushed garlic. Then to that, I'm gonna add just over a pound of Italian sausage, which is part of the reason I chose fennel because I think sausage and fennel go really well together. You should try it sometime. And I'm also choosing to flavor it with some fresh sage and rosemary. You can obviously use dried here, but fresh herbs make a big difference. And once everything was browned nicely, I added in some fresh spinach. And I just cooked that down until the spinach was slightly wilted, but still had a nice bright green color. Then I piled it into my squash bowls, getting them nice and full with all that delicious stuffing. Now, of course, I'll put all the ingredients in the description below for you. But the last step is to shred a little cheese on here. I think I used cheddar cheese this time. And I stuck it back in the oven just long enough for it to melt. Now, I'm slightly biased and I think these are delicious, but I'll be sure to test these with the kids just to be sure. Now, I've made stuffed squash many times in many different ways, but I still have yet to find that perfect one that my son will actually like. But I won't give up. I just have to keep trying and keep making delicious food for those that I love. And hopefully you do too. Mm -hmm. oh. It's not my favorite, but I like the chicken. All the, all the stuff in them, the flavors are like exploding in my mouth. Thanks guys. Thank you daddy.